As a lot of you know, gambling in RuneScape has a long history, and it's partly due to the fact that RuneScape's currency has real-world value on the black market. So if players can find ways of acting like casinos and making GP, they can then sell that GP for real-life money. Games of chance on RuneScape like dicing used to be allowed, but Jagex eventually cracked down and made games of chance against the game rules. Obviously though, that doesn't count staking in the duel arena. Some gambling hosts evolved by making gambling bots. The gambling hosts could set the odds for the gambling bots and the gambling bots would advertise and operate their own mini casino in game. The inner workings of these bots have always been unknown except for the people who run them. How fair are the odds? How much GP do they actually bring in? And how many of them are there? These bot farms have always been so secretive, so when I saw this tweet from Mod Twisted at the anti-cheating team about removing a lot of gambling bots, I reached out hoping I could get some answers. It turns out the operation is a lot more widespread than I imagined and is linked to a bunch of other cheating methods in RuneScape. Let's get into it, but first, if you like the video, like the video, and if you like more than one of my videos, consider subscribing. Less than 30% of my viewers are actually subscribed. Let's start with the scale of these bot farms. First, I want to note that there are bot operators competing against each other. There are massive gambling bot farms vying for position and customers. They go by different names, and the anti-cheating team told me they identified four of the biggest. Jad followed by four numbers, Gamble followed by four numbers, Cree followed by four numbers, and Vegas followed by four numbers. Jagex said that these bot farms have basically every variation of these usernames, which means there are up to 9,900 99 bots in each bot farm. That would mean these four largest bot farms make up 40,000 gambling bots. Obviously though, not all at one time. The next day after Jagex told me that, Mod Twisted tweeted again that they had just removed 3,941 more gambling bots. And that was already after a massive ban wave the day before. So it's safe to say there were tens of thousands of them. We'll get into a lot more info like how much GP they make right after a word from the sponsor of today's video. Thanks to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. There are three reasons why I like and recommend ExpressVPN. First, a lot of shady things can happen in RuneScape, and especially while you're in a dangerous situation in game, you don't want to be DDoS. ExpressVPN masks your IP address protecting you from those DDoS attacks. The second reason is while you're connected to ExpressVPN, it encrypts and secures your data. If you're ever using public Wi-Fi or unsecured networks, you don't know who's trying to steal your data. ExpressVPN encrypts your data, protecting it and making it much more difficult to spy on. Netflix actually has different shows and movies depending on the country you're in. With ExpressVPN, you can connect to a server in a different country, unlocking that content on Netflix. On Netflix in the US, I can't watch Rick and Morty. If I use ExpressVPN to connect to a UK server, that content is unlocked for me and I can watch it. So go to www.expressvpn.com slash surpugger to find out how you can get three months for free. The link is in the description. Jagex was able to track these accounts back to their origin, and they told me that it seems like gold farmers mass create the accounts, complete tutorial island, and then sell the accounts. Obviously, Jagex focuses on Tutorial Island to make sure that bots aren't mass creating accounts, so the black market turns to hand played gold farmers to mass create accounts. It's crazy to think that there's someone out there whose job is to just create accounts on RuneScape. Those accounts are then sold to other groups of people who bought quests to bypass trade restrictions in free to play. Once that's done, the accounts are sold again, probably to various bot farm owners, but in this case, gambling bot owners are one big customer for those accounts. Once the gambling bot owners buy those accounts, accounts, they're traded 10 mil for a bond and to buy the gambling bot classic outfit. Of course, this changes between bot farms, but one example Jagex told me was full Vire gear, a scarf, a cavalier, and a black cape. I've seen other bot farms wear the full royal outfit. Once they're bonded up and have the outfit, they're ready to start taking bets. At this point, Jagex says the average amount they usually start with is about 350k. And this is where it gets really interesting, because you might be thinking, how could a gambling bot take a bet of 10 mil when it only has 350k. If the customer wins, the gambling bot owes the customer 20 mil. Jagex says the customer win rates when these bots just start out with 350k are much lower than otherwise. Basically, the bots cheat at first to make more gold than the 350k so that they can take bigger bets and even out the odds later on. Jagex said that the bot farm owners build up their reputation by having huge discords with customers in them and letting the customers verify their bots somehow. But let's get into how much GP these bots actually generate. The bots average trades between 
five and a hundred mil daily to mules. Obviously, gambling bot earnings depends on the bot popularity and the time of day the bot's operating. It's unfortunately crazy that one gambling bot can net 100 mil in a day. But these bot farm mules were tracked down and a lot of them obviously sell the gold. Some of the mules Jagex found had 50 mil, but others had up to 30 billion GP on them, which if it was sold is worth over $10,000 on just one mule account. But Jagex also tracked that one gambling bot farm feeds into another form of gambling on RuneScape. Instead of selling the gold, the gambling bots would trade it off to max accounts meant to stake in the duel arena. Each trade was exactly 2 billion gold. Jagex said these accounts were ready for sale to players who wanted to go staking in the duel arena. Gambling whales could buy a max staking account that already had 2 billion gold ready to go gamble at the duel arena. So the money collected from players gambling a few mil at gambling bots was then aggregated and sold to players who wanted to gamble more at the duel arena. I guess it's kind of fitting that smaller gambling operations just feed into bigger gambling operations. There are also other bot farms I found that end up feeding staking accounts. And I really didn't even mean to find this bot farm. It's incredibly well hidden because these accounts just stay at the grand exchange under stacks of players. I only noticed them because on one world there were two that had the exact same levels and bot like usernames. I ended up finding six or seven of them spread out across a bunch of different worlds, all in the same tiles on the grand exchange alking. They have all 50 melee stats, 25 range, and between 70 and 80 magic. I sent the names off to the anti-cheating team at Jagdix because I was super curious how many of these accounts were out there anyway. They told me they found 30 of these identical accounts. Those 30 accounts end up sending 150 to 200 mil per day to their mules. The account age ranges between 5 to 10 days. So like 120 to 240 hours-ish. Jagdix told me that apparently they're mainly buying you longbows and alking them. Obviously they mule the gold off, but it looks like the mules then distribute the gold in fixed trades of about 200 mil to random accounts that Jagex says look as though they're being built up to be stake accounts. All roads really do lead to the duel arena. But there's another connection I made because that 50 attack, 50 strength, and then high magic level reminded me of the mobile Zulra bots I found in my last video. This bot farm could totally be one of the earlier stages of Zulra bot. They high alk bot to make money and get their mage up to make their account ready to do Zulra. This is probably the easiest way a high level bot farm has been discovered. I got a tip that a bunch of really, really high level accounts were banking at Ferox Enclave and then typing zero and teleporting away. The tip said they thought they're Vorkath bots because most of the accounts have over 6,000 kill count. So I hopped around various worlds at the Ferox Enclave to see if I could find any of these accounts that were just typing zero over and over again. Eventually I did and a lot of them are like over level 120. I didn't check too many worlds but I only found four accounts that actually typed zero. Of course, I sent the usernames off to Jagex to see what was going on. Jagex confirmed that they were all bots, which means that the reason this high-level bot farm was caught is that for whatever reason they type zero when they bank. The anti-cheating team found a total of 20 accounts in this group botting Vorkath. They also found the bot farm's two mules, and each Vorkath bot traded over 20 to 25 mil to the mules. At the time of being caught, the two mules had 5 billion GP on them. The bots themselves averaged only about 4 million GP at the time of the ban, probably because they mule their gold pretty quickly. The bots that I found had six to 7,000 Vorkath KC on them though. And with Vorkath's average kill being worth about 126K, that means each bot had generated between 700 and 900 million GP. I'm guessing these accounts were all hacked as well because they had a lot of high stats on them. The quest requirements for Vorkath are huge and their playtime averaged between 70 days and over a year. So these are some really long time players being hacked and turned into Vorkath bots. Now there are a lot of of Rock Haramwam fishing bots out there. Some of them with like 20 plus million fishing experience. So I sent off a list of about 20 usernames to Jagex to see what was going on. And the information I got back kind of puzzled me. Each account only had about 3,000 Rock Haramwans on it. None of them had sold any Karamwans on the Grand Exchange. They didn't have much else on the accounts. They weren't really muling any Karamwans off either. So what's happening to the Karamwans and or gold that the bot farm makes? I don't know if the Karamwan bot farm has found a way to offload its items without being detected. It's kind of a mystery though. This is one of the most ridiculous bot farms I've ever seen. I don't even know what else to say about it, so I'm just gonna explain what it does. 
Basically, at the Grand Exchange and the most popular worlds, there are accounts that now say will be RSGF for 1GP. As soon as you trade them any amount of money, they start following you and doing a bunch of emotes behind you. They all have the same script. It starts out with saying your username and then is my dad. So Sir Pugger is my dad. And then within like 10 seconds of giving them money, they say they love you, but they would also like more money. And then it escalates to advertising that someone can steal them for more money than their boyfriend currently gave them. And then, and I can only say this because I'm not streaming on Twitch, they start saying, out simp my simp Sir Pugger and trade me X amount more than him. The script continues and says you're spoiling them and you're their sugar daddy. I found like five of these bots and they actually get pretty annoying because if you stay around, they won't stop following you and typing stuff until someone trades them more gold. People are programming robots on RuneScape to be virtual girlfriends for RuneScape gold and then making some sort of auction style bidding to get other players to outbid people to be their boyfriend to generate more RuneScape gold. I think after this Jagex you just gotta shut down the game.